Hi everyone, it's Dawn and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, it looks like masks are back again. Well, to be fair, it's like they really didn't ever disappear uh, from the cruise ship industry. But more and more cruise ships now have started donning the mask again for passengers. I was just on Holland America on the Rotterdam and as we were stepping on board, we were handed a piece of paper saying you had to now wear a mask on board in all indoor venues and any place on the outside decks that you weren't able to social distance. Great, okay. Then uh, I said, well, that's this one. They were having some experience with crew members who had come down with COVID and they were, you know, abundance of caution. And now my group cruise going on in Alaska, you have to wear a mask on the Majestic Princess as well. They were notified after they got on board that they had to start wearing a mask. And it is now official that all cruises out of Vancouver on Princess Cruise Lines going northbound, southbound, or the 14 day, you're going to have to wear a mask indoors until further notice. Not just for the upcoming couple cruises, until further notice. Which begs now the question of, well, wait a minute. What if I don't want to wear a mask on a cruise? Can you get your money back? Well, you do have that... 30 day cruise with confidence. So if it if you your if your sailing's not for 30 more days, you can you know get future cruise credits to cover your cruise and then sail at another time. That's not really the problem there, but a problem does come up within that 30 day period because uh, as far as I can see, they're not offering refunds, not so much refunds or or, or FCCs or allowing you to move your cruise because of the masking policy. I'm trying to get clarification on that. I have some some messages out asking from the business leaders at Princess Cruise Lines to get back to me. Haven't heard anything yet. But as of right now, it looks like uh, it's just a change in policy now and you're gonna have to live with it. But that is a pretty big one for a lot of people. I know it's very uncomfortable a lot of times to wear a mask all the time. And, uh, you know, putting it on for an hour here, an hour there, a couple, it's not that bad. You know, <laughs> I just had to experience on my travels home, having to wear a mask in the airport and on planes for 22 hours straight, not being able to take it off at any time except to take a quick sip of pop. Um, and by the end, my ears around my here were beat sore to the point where I almost had a, a, an earache from the the pressure on the mask pulling down on it. And I tried different masks. It it just, I guess it's you wearing a mask so often on the cruise and in the hotel area. Uh, anytime I, you know, was in any kind of transportation, had to wear the mask and it, it was, it was really grating on my ears. It really, really was. So, you know, and a cruise is, a, is supposed to be your luxury vacation, right? You're, if I don't have to wear a mask at home and I don't have to wear a mask when I go to the grocery store or the bank or any place like that, I'm darn sure I don't want to wear a mask when I'm on a cruise ship sinking, you know, drinking a pina colada, watching a show or sitting up on deck. I, I don't want to. So should you be allowed to get your money back? Now, this is what Princess is doing right now. That's what Holland America just did. And that is not going to be the only cruise line out there that will come up with this policy over the next couple months, for sure. As any cases grow on a ship or cases in a particular city or country, for instance, if you know one of the countries starts saying, hey, you better start having some people wear masks on your ship or we're going to stop allowing you to come to our cruise port the cruise lines will institute a mass policy so so they can continue to sail to those cruise ports. It's not fun. It's not good for the cruise lines. They don't want to do it, but they have to do it to keep things going. And right now, they are so short on staff members on the cruise ships themselves that they're trying to do whatever they can to limit the possibility of losing more crew members to 
you know, having to isolate them or even for close contacts. And it's not necessarily because they're sick. One crew member could affect five to 10 other crew members who become close contacts who have to ice also isolate. So it just compounds the shortage of staff as well. Again, I just had COVID. I've just come off. I have a bit of a sore, not sore throat, um, a bit of a lingering cough. It's not all the time, but every once in a while, I just go, <clears throat> and that's it. That's what I've had, and I've had the sniffles. It, you know, I'm, I'm lucky. I know, and I know catching COVID now is far different with three doses of the vaccine and the mutation of the virus is far different than it was when we first had it come out that first year uh, when it started to spread here in North America. Far less dangerous, far less ramifications because we didn't have a vaccine back then. We didn't have it mutating into a smaller, less infectious disease, less severe disease. So I consider myself I'm pretty lucky, we caught it now, it's not really affecting me, and I have all those lung surgeries and chemotherapy and all this, I have my, my body is immune to nothing. <laughs> and I'm doing okay. So I, I'm wondering how long, how long before the cruise industry is allowed to act like the rest of society? Because in the United States, for example, if you catch COVID and you're showing no symptoms, uh, you, you're, you're supposed to quarantine for five days. Or if you test negative, you don't have to quarantine at all if you've had your vaccine. On cruise ships, it's still 10 days. You still have to quarantine for 10 days. You're not allowed to cruise at all within that 10 day period. It, it's, it seems like it's different rules for cruise ships once again than anywhere else in society. And I can't wait for the time when we just focus on everything being the same. If you're going to make a rule on land, it should be the same rule on the ocean. Because I'll tell you, standing at that airport in Amsterdam, surrounded by thousands of people, you know, back to chest, in a line for four hours, none of them wearing masks, People sneezing and coughing everywhere compared to uh, being able to go on a cruise ship and social distance and, and spread out. I think it was more dangerous and more, more people spreading the virus in the airport than there ever was on the cruise ship I was on. But they don't track that. They only track the cruise ships. Let, let, let's let that sink in for a little while. But that, I just have to say it. Masks are back, masks are a thing, and if you don't want to wear a mask for sure, then maybe you should be holding off on your cruise. I'm very nervous now that I'm going to be going to Spain. I paid, you know, with my, uh, I'm going with my friend Alicia. It's a really nice cruise. We're on a brand new ship. Looking to have a really good vacation. This is my vacation cruise. It's not a working cruise. It's my vacation cruise. And if they say you got to wear a mask on board, I am really not going to be happy about it at all. That's just the way it is. <laughs> well, I hope you appreciate this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. We'll see more tips, more tricks, more travel blogs from around the world. Hit that subscribe button. Till next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.